Hey, this is Ty Brown with DogBehaviorOnline.com, and I'm coming to you with another question from one of our uh, valued clients. And so, let me just open this here. She, uh, this is from Jackie. She says she's got a wild Cairn Terrier mix. She says, "Hi, Ty. I have a terrier mix who's about 12 months old and is just wild." She doesn't just jump on furniture. She, she flies from couch to a chair. She flies onto my lap from across the room when I am holding hot coffee. Uh, we've had many close calls where she's just missed spilling it all over me. Also, she scratches, chews, licks, and nips myself and others constantly on the hands, legs, and faces. I have band-aids all over my arms and legs, and she's even tried to bite my face, uh, my nose, chin, and cheeks. I had her nails ground down with a Dremel. And that seems to help some. Any other ideas? She has destroyed a $300 down comforter and many throw pillows. When she chewed a huge hole in the down comforter, I woke with feathers flying all over in the air and in my hair. I now have her sleeping in her crate, and she does well with that, although I do like her sleeping with me. I have your Foundation Obedience DVD set, and we're doing well with it. She walks loose leash in the house without distraction. She sits and lies down, but only stays for seconds, and then she's up and running again. She's wearing a training collar and seems to do well with that. Please help me, Ty, and tell me what DVDs you suggest that will help. I'm on Social Security. and um, Anyways, uh, so uh, Jackie, a um, few things. First off, congratulations. You're doing well. In fact, she did send me a follow-up email saying, um, I forgot to mention my last email, that I'm walking my dog several times a day and also taking her to doggy daycare where she can exercise and socialize with other dogs. Um, and so, uh, any case... It sounds like you have a dog with some crazy wild energy here, um, which is not a bad thing. It just it, it needs to be harnessed. And so uh, let me give you a handful of ideas here. And to be honest, I don't think you need any other DVD sets right now. Um, I think what you've got will help. What I think you need to do are a few things. Number one, you mentioned she's wearing a training collar. Is she also wearing a leash? I would recommend that she's, she's on a leash all the time in the house with you, simply because... Um, Boy, I don't, I don't even want to overthink this. You know, if she's on a leash and she's jumping on me, nope, nope. Uh, if she's on a leash and she's jumping on the furniture, I'm grabbing the leash and giving a correction. If she's trying to nip my face, I'm giving a correction. If uh, uh, about 98% of what you mentioned here, if we just correct her at the right time with an effective correction, we're done with the problem. Um, now, you're probably going to have to have her in a leash for a little while. A little while might be a month or two or so. But you want her on a leash so that you can address those moments. Now, like I mentioned here, a little caveat, we need an effective correction. Um, like I say, it needs to be effective. And an effective correction is a correction that helps change behavior now and helps change behavior in the future. And so the corrections that you're giving aren't effective because she keeps doing it. Um, and so effective is different for different dogs. You know, some dogs, a slight rise in tone, like, no, nope, you know, it's effective. Other dogs, you ignore them and it's effective. Other dogs, uh, you could do all of that and more and they could care less. And so your dog probably needs a bit of a firmer correction. So make sure that your training collar is, is fit properly. Make sure your leash is on. And like I say, almost everything you mentioned, let me even go back here to the email. Um, scratching, chewing, licking, nipping, jumping on furniture, etc. cetera. Um, simple correction is going to get you over that. Now, like I say, it typically requires... Um, just an entire change, at least for now, it is not long term, but for now an entire change in how you interact with the dog. Because for people that have watched my DVDs, they know that I recommend, okay, keep a leash on the dog quite a bit. Um, and then what happens here is uh, uh, we do keep a leash on the dog, um, but then they let it drag around. You're probably going to need to be carrying that, you know, holding that leash quite a bit for right now. Um, giving corrections that are firm but fair. And so, like I say, um, if you give a correction and she's just jumping around while you're correcting her, it's not firm enough. It's not, uh, it's not getting her attention. So like I say, firm but fair. Make sure you're grabbing attention and helping to change behavior in the future. The other thing I would recommend is a path you're going down. You have the right mindset, but something's a little bit off. You mentioned she's staying. Um, I would recommend that you put a little bit more effort into staying. Dogs like her need to learn how to just be. They need to learn how to just chill, how to just hang out. And that's important, that's, and that's, that's hard for a lot of dogs to do. And so um, what you need to do is um, uh, uh, work on like a place command. Place meaning go to your bed and stay. And in the DVDs, we talk a lot about the place command. And so if she's getting up a few seconds later, what I always try to help my clients understand, when they say the dog stays but for not as long as I'd like, we always get to the root of the problem with one simple question, which is what do you do when your dog breaks the stay command? 
Most of the time when the dog breaks the stay command, the people just remind the dog back, no, 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 get back to your bed, or the dog runs around and nothing happens. And so the dog realizes there is no consequence for getting off the bed. So what I would do is I'm holding a leash. We have the dog place, sit, down, whatever. And she moves three seconds later with the leash. Nope, place, place. And I'm correcting her right back to her position. She moves two seconds later. Nope, place. She moves four seconds later. Nope, place. And I keep correcting back. The idea is not to overpower the dog. The idea is to outlast the dog, just to be a little bit more stubborn than the dog, I guess you could say. And so with those two things, like I say, number one, keep a leash on, keep the leash with you, correct those uh, manners issues. I think that's going to be huge for you. And then number two, um, what you want to do is make sure that um, you're adjusting how you're doing the place command or the sit or the down so that you can get her to stay better for longer periods of time. Because like I say, for dogs like her, once we start teaching the dog how to stay put for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, a half hour, Ooh, there's like this calming, soothing sensation that happens in the dog's life. And that's what she needs to start to experience. Because it sounds like you're doing nothing wrong with the exercise. You know, she's getting daycare. She's getting walks. It sounds like you're doing everything well there. It's just that this dog has a greater need than most dogs. And so um, she's going to learn how to, how to, she's going to have to learn how to fulfill that by herself. You know, how to self-regulate. Because it's not like you can just double the walks. You're already doing four a day. It's not like you can, you know, do more of this stuff, of the exercise type stuff. What we have to do, um, and in fact, what I always tell my clients is we generally will get the dog far more tired through the mind than we will through the body. And so, like I say, teaching a solid place command is working through the mind to help that, uh, uh, to help that dog stay put. So, uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. If that's not making sense, Jackie or Jacqueline, however you like to be called, uh, if that's not making sense. Or if you have any questions or for anyone watching this, feel free to comment down below with any questions or comments. So best of luck. Happy training.